Okay, all right, so this is video two, so we're going to pick up where we left off. Um, so what we need to do here is cut off these test bits, right? So I'm going to cut off the test bits. I'm going to take everything back to zero, which, uh, matter of fact, let's do this. Num let's, let's say, let's actually come in here and use... Uh, test bit. Uh, let's put this here and let's use a clear. Uh, so let's come in here and actually use a clear. And sometimes I type it so <clears throat> just um, you know plan on doing that that's fine. Um, you can put the uh, basically you want to clear the, the position or you want to clear the length. Um, so in this case, we want to clear the position. Um, so we'll do that real quick. And we'll just come in here and clear the position like they're empty. Um, so that's what we're going to be using our test bit for, right? Um, let's just, let's call that test bit one because we don't, we're not going to use it anywhere else. Okay, so um, what I want to do um, is actually show you a the primary method that most people do this is they come in and they use both of these together. And I almost used the wrong bit. They use both of these together. <clears throat> uh, and we'll leave that there for now and delete this one. So we'll leave that there for now. Um, the test bit, even though I'm not going to use it, uh, what I want to actually do is uh, add in a rung with a no operation. Again, the no operation means there's no uh, operand. Uh, there's nothing that it's actually controlling. So um, therefore, the instruction or the Software knows it's fine to do that. Um, else, if you just try to throw a bunch of stuff in here, it wouldn't do it. Um, so what we'll do is we're not actually going to do any moves, but we're going to show it. So we're going to actually just grab a couple moves and come down and throw them in here. And what I'm trying to do is basically show you the arrays. Uh, I want to show all the arrays. So in this case, just keep populating them. And you're probably asking to yourself right now, why am I using a bunch of moves? Because they're still going to index in, or they're still going to move into each other. Well, they're not um, the way I'm going to do things. And you'll see that in just a second. Just a second. So... Get a couple more. Um, again, let's put these on the back side. Okay, so um, this is seven. This is eight. And we probably won't get all of them. But I at least want to show you the data transitioning. Um, and let's do that. Let's just do uh, 11. And let's do what's the other tag? The um, the unload destination. So uh, what I want to actually be cautious of um, and show right off the bat is I want to actually show you the unwind destination right beside the um, zero of the array. So uh, right here to stop all the moves from happening, we are ba basically just going to have a AFI. We're going to add in a wrong comment to say uh, this this wrong is just for uh, troubleshooting only and not acting 
as moves. And I always like to kind of like index highlight it or whatever, you know, just it, it tends to get people's attention more. That's just my, my way of doing things. Um, even then, you know, whatever you wanted to do. But I think it stands out more, you know, if you, you write that and then you put a little note around it or a little box around it, it kind of stands out more. Okay, so uh, with that said, you plainly see that if I go toggle this bit right now, of course it's zero, it's going to zero itself out, um, that it's going to actually um, load in some data. Um, so what we can do, and let's do that as well. Let's uh, let's come in here and do another one of these. Copy and then paste and then bring that down and to there. And let's clear. Oh, come on. There you go. Uh, don't. Yeah, it's not going to let me do that. So, um. What we, well, I guess we could move a bunch of zeros in it, but let's just clear the first one. That's fine. And what I want to do here is actually come back and say, well, this is at zero now, right? So this is going to constantly, like if um, what we have, we had test uh, two in there before. So let's use test two, that way it separates and I don't have to toggle down here. So if I toggle this right now, you kind of get the, the drift behind that. See, that's a zero, so the zero is in there right now. Okay, so if I actually toggle this right now, it's just going to steady like feed in and feed out data. It's not actually going to um, transition because it's not actually going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, counting all the way to 20. So in that, in that instance, it's actually indexing only one. It's loading in zero and unloading zero. It's loading in zero and unloading zero. If, if you see that right here, that's the reason I put the uh, unload right there as far as the uh, unload destination because uh, zero is actually loading into there. So I wanted to show you that for a reason. So what we should do here is before we do an unload is we should compare it and we should say equal to or greater than and then we should look at the uh, position and we should say that if the position is equal to or greater than 20 then we definitely want to start unloading. So in this case, we're going to start loading and you see data transitioning. And then when it hits 20, it's going to start unloading. So if you watch that again, we're going to actually uh, delete or erase that and we'll erase this. Matter of fact, let's throw uh, zeros in all of this so that you can see the data flowing. Because I know watching the video, it's probably hard to see. Um, and I want to give you the best example that I possibly can. Because obviously, you're, you're, you're probably getting the drift of what's happening here. So, But I just wanted to make sure that it's a closed loop and it's good. So um, what's going to happen again is this going to fill up the array first and then when it hits the point of 20 then it's going to actually start unloading I'll show you that as far as that goes you won't see anything in the unload until it hits 20 so until this hits 20 so you see that it, it loaded everything in and now it loaded everything in so quickly that again this is the um, the scan time of the processor has how fast it loaded it itself in there 
So now as it's doing that, it's going to actually load and unload, uh, load and unload. So you can have it just as fast and, and as you want it to, to, you know, have a system working. Uh, generally speaking, though, you're not going to do that. You're, you know, you're not going to actually um, have it unload. What we end up doing often is we'll have one scenario uh, that toggles and it, uh, it will load and unload. And what I mean by that is that one shot that we had in here. Let's see that one shot, and I think we called it Hans. <clears throat> and we'll just use two for that example. Um, so it's just going to do it once. So generally, we have it indexing once. So let's let's clear this out. And again, let's go through and clear the data. So that way you get um, exactly what's happening. Okay, so as it's running, I'm going to toggle it. Okay, so now we have one in there, right? We have a count of one. Okay, so now we have a count of two. Okay, so now we're just steady going down. And that must have just fell on a zero. But you see nothing's coming in to unload right now because it's actually not triggering the unload. Because again, it has not uh, hit the point of where the um the position is equal to or greater than the 20. okay so we'll keep doing that until and i know that you know actually seeing that or keep having to do that is uh let's actually take this and just hit toggle a couple of times instead of hearing the mouse click Okay, so it's 18, 19. Okay, so now it should actually start. Okay, so this is going to actually start loading, unloading, and start transitioning. So you see that actually working. And all I'm doing, again, is, is basically Control-T is toggling instead of hearing the mouse click. Um, I know that was kind of annoying, probably on your end. Um, so... That's one way to go about it. Um, again, so how I do things <clears throat> is say, for instance, I had, um, like if I were to use it in a, in a scenario, I would do an average or something. Um, basically just kind of, you know, just basically dividing it by itself. Or I would take what is in here, uh, you know, and, and divide it basically by, um, you know, there's 20 elements, and then I would just, and that would be my sum of whatever I had, right? Um, and it doesn't make any sense to do that, really, with a um, with a timer, a free-running timer, because none of this is going to be the same. You see the numbers are kind of everywhere. I just wanted to show you that, you know, I would just come in here and, and you know, uh, either that or, um, you know, some other math function to average something out. Um, not really... Know, anything other than that so um, now again we can take all this stuff out and just let it free run if we wanted to and that would be again the rate of this the scan so the process is just scanning right now it's going through and if I come in here and reset that and it's going to be a zero, and then it's not going to move any data until it hits 20. So that's it's pretty apparent when you do it like that. It doesn't move any data whatsoever until it hits 20, and then it starts moving data. So um, hopefully that kind of cleared up the uh, or any unanswered questions in the last video as far as the uh, the first uh, first in first out uh, load unload which is, of course, the FIFO load and unload. 
Um, this is just a scenario that I like to use to, and I, I do scenarios <clears throat> like this down here to uh, show the data or show, um, you know, show exactly what's happening so that you can understand it and I can understand it. And I do this during my programming troubleshooting as well, too. And I'll come back in the end and, and just delete that wrong. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully that was, uh, you know, that would kind of clear up the issue as far as the the um, FIFO itself. If you do want to see anything else or see anything more with uh, with a FIFO, um, you know, just please let me know comment below and you know i'll be glad to uh revisit this a little bit and maybe uh give a couple live examples and uh you know that maybe show you that actually i do have um well i have a couple live examples but i will say that they won't be running processors they'll just be a program that's already running it so i'll have to show you that and explain it to you so if you do have an interest in seeing that, just email or not email, but uh, message me below and I'll be glad to do that. Okay, um, well, hopefully that was helpful and um, everybody's doing all right. So thanks again for the support.